Well, it is July 13th and we're out here picking a strawberry that's ripe for Lily. We were going to do it yesterday, but it wasn't quite ready yet. But I think we got some other ones ready over there too. Go ahead and pick that and give it to Lily to see how she likes it. How's that strawberry, Lily? Good. Is it delicious? Yeah. There's a leaf right there that's in the middle of the plant. But How much do you like strawberries? Of the hundred trees. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's uh, see what else we can get. We have any green? Ooh, there's a big green bean down there we can get. Maybe these radishes are done too. I don't know. They've really bolted. Oh. You okay? That's fine. Okay, okay, Doesn't look like that one's ready. Want to try a green bean, really? Yeah. You pick some green beans? He's going to eat another green bean now. I know we got tons of green beans ready over here. And here we are. Holy moly, look at this one. Oh, that's a big one. Want to eat it? I don't think we'll ever have any for a meal because Lily likes to eat them right out here in the garden, don't you? And it won't get any fresher than that, does it? What do you like better, the strawberries or the green beans? I like the strawberries and green beans. Oh, you like them both, huh? I bet you we got a raspberry ready to eat, too. Yeah, I've got them. Oh, you're getting all kinds of green beans, aren't you? Yeah. i about seven or eight already. There's tons more growing on these other plants now. i got to pull out this fern. <laughs> We have terrible ferns grow everywhere and you pull them out and they just keep growing right back. You want me to take these ones yet? Only if they're ready, if you think they're ready. Uh, if not, just let them go. We'll have a nice little batch for a meal. Yeah, those one, well, a couple of them look okay. Well, I'd, you could let them go. Well, that one's that one's good there too. Oh, you missed one. There's one right here. That's a tiny one. You could say oh, that's, that's a button. Well, that's enough for a little. That's enough for Lily to eat a meal. Enough for a little meal. Whoop. That one. That Grab it, Lily. We got a dozen green beans. Well, I'll just wait and then we'll have more ready tomorrow and then we can all have for a meal. What about these jalapenos? Um, the big ones, yeah. Go ahead and I pick the like big ones. Jalapenos. I like jalapenos. Oh, and another cool thing we had a marigold finally pop up here. We've got marigolds planted throughout our garden because. We were told that they uh, keep away certain animals that like to munch on your crops. And luckily we've got a big fence around our garden so we don't have a whole lot of that. And I did put chicken wire, I don't know if you can see it here or not, but there's two feet of chicken wire above or um, from the fence line up so that, uh, you know, rabbits or anything like that can't slip through the uh, the fence where the holes are there but one thing has managed to come through the fence and that's um, uh, we've got a gardener uh, gardener snake or garter snake I don't know how you say it um, that's living here in our garden and I wasn't sure if they were good to have it here or not so I went online and I looked and 
They say if uh, you have uh, snakes, uh, gardener snakes in your garden, it means that you're, um, means that you have a healthy garden. And that's good, that's good news, encouraging. Um, is that strawberry ready over there? I see a nice bright red one here. Now, all these weeds that she pulled up there, those will all get thrown into the chicken run. And the chickens absolutely love eating those greens, so. Here's our odd tomato plant. Oh, we should see if anybody knows what this plant is. Um, the leaves look like a potato, but the stem, the stalk of the plant has the hair on it like uh it has the hair on it like a tomato plant. That is a tomato plant, isn't it? I think it? it is too. I think the leaves are edged like a tomato. So I guess this is another volunteer tomato plant. As uh, many of you know, we um, uh, last winter we raised uh, chickens, uh, 100 chickens in this area. And we used to dump restaurant scraps and, and food scraps from the house and everything in, into this... Uh, this area for the chickens to eat and um, oh, that snake is in here Woo. I saw it moving so I'm gonna have to figure out a quick way to get out of here because I'm like really scared of snakes did you see that um, strawberry right there yeah he likes to live right there in the strawberry plants Yep, we got a snake right there in the strawberry plants. I wonder if I can get him on camera. That one's not quite ready. Yeah, we'll let it go a little longer. Hey, you think there's any way I can get that snake on video? I'm really, I'm not scared. He's down here somewhere. He might have moved over to the potatoes. Hopefully you guys saw all those plants move all of a sudden. But here's our cabbage. We got softball size sperm heads on the cabbage and some even bigger over here. And all of our cucumbers are flowering. I wonder why that plant flipped over like that over here. It was laying hey, the other direction. Water hey, wait a second. And as you can see, our uh, potato plants are flowering. So soon, they'll be ready to uh, harvest the, the potatoes. You see how that was knocked over like that? I think the water did it, probably rushing over. Oh, like it kind of flooded over there? Yeah, we had a serious uh, thunderstorm here last night. And um, while the rain we got, our corn just really popped up so, even since yesterday. We do? Yes, cucumbers! Uh, Tina says we got a cucumber growing. Oh, I love cucumbers. Where's it at? How big is it? Don't step on the plant, okay. sweetie. About an inch. An inch long? I'm going to see this. <clears throat> Sorry about the camera shaking. I'm not too sure footed. Sure enough, there's a cucumber. So, we'll have a, some nice cucumbers soon. I think some of those are pickling cucumbers. cucumbers. And we have regular cucumbers too. Oh, and here's our harvest for the day. We uh, just keep grabbing little bits at a time off the plants whenever we come out here. A lot of times we just munch right here in the garden. So nice having fresh fruits and vegetables <coughs> check on our strawberry plants over here well then we're not going to have enough for a meal 
Oh, well, go ahead, let her have one. She likes them. All right, let's go check on the raspberries. Have you got to try them yet? Have I? Yeah. What, the raspberry? Green bean. Oh, yeah, I had one yesterday. All right, see, there's the snake. There he is. I don't know if you can see him, guys. Yep. There's the snake right there. Flipping his tongue at us. Now the first time we seen him, he had a full belly. So he ate a mole or a mouse or something that was not supposed to be in our gear. Something that scared me. I thought that snake was coming after me. Oh, I'm like a big chicken. Oh, look at We got raspberries ready. We've got raspberries to eat. And here's our tomatoes. They're doing wonderful. And look at where pumpkin. A big one over there. And look at where pumpkin. Oh, the Romas are getting big too. The Roma tomatoes are getting huge. The onions are getting bigger. Look at where potatoes. All right, guys. Well, that's an update. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.